What's up everyone, Celeste Zubia here with the latest in MSU Denver sports. The RMAC tournament for soccer is quickly approaching, so let's take a look on where our men's team is currently standing. After going 1-1 one one this past weekend, the team is in 4th place in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. With a 5-3 record in the RMAC and a 5-7 record overall, with hopes to host for the tournament, they have to stay in the top 4, so the rest of these games in the regular season are extremely important for the Roadrunners. Our men's team needs all the support they can get to finish out the regular season on a good note, so be sure to watch them play tonight at 5 o'clock here at the Regency Athletic Complex. And after two heartbreaking losses, just like Big Sean, our women's team bounced back-to-back -back this past weekend. Women's soccer hosted CSU Pueblo, and both teams were looking to get back into the win column. The Thunderwolves got some chances, but were unlucky to find the back of the net. As for the Roadrunners, the ball is assisted to sophomore McKaylee McKenzie, and she's at the 1v1 with the goalie. She kicks it, and goal! MSU Denver is up 1-0. Then, the Thunder rolls with an opportunity, and a weird call is on Emily Romer, and that will result in a penalty kick. They will unfortunately tie it up. So with all this soccer talk, I almost forgot to mention our volleyball team. Yes, the team that has now won seven straight games in the RMAC Conference. MSU Denver comes out strong with an early kill against the Westminster Griffins. Then a service ace by the junior Stephanie Laraway. Santasia Sturges and Vasadi Fiatoa get the back-to-back -back kills. And just when you thought the offense was doing all the work, a block to give the Roadrunners a point. Kayla White with the service and another ace. There is no stopping Laraway as she finished the game with four kills on the night. And what better way to end the game with another service ace. MSU Denver defeats the Griffins three sets to zero.